right, welcome to the Tidal Creek ecosystem. Now, if you're an animal or a plant and you live in the Tidal Creek ecosystem, you have to be adapted to be able to change because things are always changing in the Tidal uh, Creek. As the tide rises and falls, that means sometimes there's hardly any water in here. And it also can change the temperature a lot. The salt level changes a lot. If we get a heavy rainfall, it's not nearly as salty. Most animals cannot change that fast where the water that they're in changes from real fresh to real salt. But we're gonna learn, I think, we'll see what's in this trap here. We're gonna learn about one animal that has incredible adaptations to live in this very changing environment. And that animal is known as the mummy chug. And Derek, what's the name of that animal? Mummy chug, isn't that a fun word? Let's say it together, one, two, three, mummy chug. And that is a Native American term for many fish because that's a good term for the mummy chug because they are probably the most abundant fish in all the salt marsh. There's millions and millions of them behind Masonboro Island. And I want everybody to say, count of three, I wanna say thank you mummy chug because they eat mosquito larvae. They eat little baby mosquitoes, so those don't, mosquitoes don't grow up to, to feed on us. All right, one, two, three, we're going to say, thank you, mummy chug. One, two, three, thank, thank you, you mummy, mummy chug. chug. All right, so we're going to see if we caught any. We put a little bit of bait in here, some fish and parts of a crab. That makes some of the best bait. Now, uh, if anyone likes to go flounder fishing or drum fishing, these make really good bait, and we'll explain why in a little bit. All right, let's see if we can snag it. Now, Derek is very bravely going out on this board here. Uh, he would sink in probably up to his knee. He's going to try to snag it and bring it over to me. I'll see if I can keep from sinking in. In this soft mud. Yeah, reach way out there. Doing it just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. All right, we've had this set for about an hour, I'd say. Let's step back here where it's nice and firm. Let's see if we got anything. Oh, I think we have a few. You see them? All right, let's open them up. Now, one reason these are really good bait is because mummy chugs are really tough. So you can put them in a bucket of water and they'll stay alive for days and days. <clears throat> they live in a place where often there's very little oxygen. Uh, Derek, do you need oxygen? Yes. yes, all animals need oxygen, including fish. But when there's not much oxygen in the water, most fish can't live very long. But mummy chugs, they can. And that makes some good fish for what we call live bait. A lot of fish that we're trying to catch, you know, flounder and drum, they like to catch, they like to eat things that are alive. It's easier to catch them that way. All right. Would you like to hold one? Right, wet your hands first. That way it doesn't hurt the little mummy chugs as much. All right, we're going to wet our hands, and you can just reach down in there and grab one and put them on your hand. They don't get a whole lot bigger than this, the, the mummy chucks. This is about full size, but there's a lot of them in the salt marsh. So if you added up all the weight of the mummy chucks, they would add up more, to more weight than all the other big fish, like the drum that also live in here. You can put your hands together like this and hold them. Atta boy. How do they feel? Very slimy. Very slimy. Well, that slime protects that fish from infections and also from parasites. So he will be fine. He could live like this. He's trying to find his way to a little puddle. We're gonna help him out a little bit. We'll put him down in there. As the tide comes up, the water level will come up all the way to here. And then they'll hide in the salt marsh grasses. This is one of the best times during the tide cycle to catch them because they're trapped in these tide pools. 
this is where a lot of wading birds like to come because uh, they can pick off fish and crabs and other things. They can't swim away. All right. Derek, thank you. You're a, you're a brave young man for venturing into this muddy environment.